The All-Star promo has dropped and in this video I will show you exactly how you can get the promo masters really quickly and for free. So let's get started. All-Star 2022! Okay, so we do have a whole week with this promo. It will be between February the 15th and February the 22nd to try and get these masters. You've got two Grand Masters, 95 overall LeBron James and 95 overall KD. And we've also got all the All-Star starters, all of that stuff. So let's take a look at the actual map. Now starting off, what you want to do is on the left hand side, you can see there are two sort of sets of events there's ones on the left which you can see are rising star rookie events and then on the right they are rising star sophomore events doesn't matter which ones you play through i suggest you play through each one once so you can see that's four events on the left four events on the right and then play through and keep playing through the other ones as well because it is really interesting because as you can see over here you play through this one and you will get on your first win six rising star rookie tokens guaranteed on your first win and on this one you'll get six guaranteed rising star sophomore tokens on the right hand side over there but then also as you can see is you keep playing and you will get some extra rewards now i don't know exactly how many you can get out of this pack it varies like on the first one over here i got seven and then on the next one over here i got 11 so i don't know exactly how many you can get it says it's one to six but i've got 11 and seven which is above six over there so i don't know what's up with that but you can actually play them unlimited amount of times which is really good so you can spend all your stamina on these events alone and you can just keep going through again and again and again and again as many times as you want throughout the whole day trying to get as much stamina as you can so you can actually go through and play through all of them and as you can see over here it has got the monthly master emblems so that goes back to what we had in season five it's a very nice way of grinding through monthly master emblems it's a way that we've wanted to have back in the game for ages and now it's back in the game spend 45 stamina you get yourself 45 monthly master emblems with that as well which is very nice to see so you just keep playing through more and more events make sure you do each one um, every single time when they do come out so they will reset daily um, just so you can get an extra first win and get yourself your guaranteed six tokens but then again as you keep going through it will give you some extra tokens and you can just keep playing through again and again and again which I think is very nice then on the right hand side over here there are extra events so you can see over here this one will reset daily and this one will also give you 600 all-star points as well as a chance at getting one of the masters between 92 and 93 overall I don't know exactly how much of a percentage it is going to be um, for you to be able to get these cards but I'm guessing it's going to be extremely low and you're gonna to have to spend 75 stamina to be able to do that but you do get some extra all-star points so it is going to help you out getting that one it's 600 of those and that does reset daily then you've also got an event over here which is an all-star game pick them i recommend you do this one and you can only do it before the all-star game occurs but i recommend you do this and save it to your bench and then as you can see it will give you 500 stamina if you pick the right pick and 250 stamina if you get the wrong pick so instead of you getting it wrong you can just always save it to your bench if it does work like it did last time save it to your bench and then when the game actually finishes you know who's won it you can then pick it up and get yourself 500 stamina which will help you a massive amount going through all these events because you are going to run out of stamina pretty quickly with some of these events and then obviously you can see at the bottom over here there are extra events these cost 30 stamina each and you will get an all-star position event pack so it will give you 25 of the all-star points as well which is pretty good these will actually help you in the objectives and this is something not many people take a look at so take a look at the objectives and you can see over here it says i've done them i haven't actually it says complete four rising star sophomore events and then complete four rising star rookie events now you can do these and it will get you 80 all-star hype points um, for both of them and that will help you if you go back over here and you remember this one over here that has been out for a while the all-star hype rewards it'll help you going across you'll get some coins you'll get some stamina again that's going to be really useful with this promo nba cash it'll get you a rising star uh, player pack which again will help you in the sets you've got a player chance pack again some of those masters you've also got a guaranteed reserve which is going to be very nice over there and then finally that you grab master Giannis Antetokounmpo from that so those are how you get those all-star high points just from doing the objectives and you only have to play through four of each of the two events every single day and then the next two over here are going to help you out with the all-star points complete five all-star team LeBron events and then also complete five all-star live events uh, first wins for team Durant so that is basically over here you can see each one's going to be for the different positions one's going to be for team LeBron and one is going to be from team KD over there so make sure you're playing through pretty much all of these events and that is going to help you out quite a bit when it comes to getting those all-star points getting those extra monthly masters and getting those event packs which is going to help you out in the sets and this is where you spend those tokens you're getting from the rookie players and the sophomore player tokens this is what you spend them on you put them in here as you can see i've got 14 just by playing the event once and then playing it again afterwards just to check whether it's repeatable you'll get anywhere between an 83 and an 85 overall rookie player and on this set over here you'll get anywhere between an 83 and 85 overall sophomore player over there and then what you do with those players is you stick them in this set over here so you need 183 184 and then 185 to get yourself a guaranteed 3,000 all-star points over 
there. That's going to be very good and um, to help you over there. But then also say I don't get exactly 183, 184 and 185. I can stick in any um, six players anywhere between 83 and 84. I'm guessing it allows 85 overall players. That just hasn't changed. But I'm guessing it allows 85 overall players as well. You stick in any six, you will get yourself 3,000 all-star points. But the benefit with this one is you're only exchanging three players. Whereas this one, you have to exchange six players. So it is a little bit of kind of working out which ones you want to do and which one's going to help you the most. And then you can also exchange three 83 to 84 overall players for a guaranteed 85 overall player. That's just to help you with this over here. Say I get really unlucky and I just pull 83s and 84s. I don't get an 85, but I want to do this set. Then I can then trade in a couple of 83s and 84s to be able to get myself an 85 guaranteed. And that's all the sets. It's pretty light on the sets, but I'm guessing we will get some extra sets for an all-star MVP master, a three-point contest master, skill games master, a dunk contest master. I'm guessing those will drop throughout the whole promo. And it's basically, you're just going to have to keep logging onto the game, seeing what's new, seeing what we get every single day, because I don't know exactly when every Everything's going to drop. I'm guessing it will drop like kind of after the events happen. But then in the all star section over here, there isn't the unlimited coin packs, which we got last year. But you are able to buy 10 of these every single day. So 200 all star points, 30k coins is going to drain your coins quite a bit. Because if you think about it, if you're going to buy all 10 every single day, that's 300k a day for 200 all star points uh, per 10. So a total 2000 all star points. So it is a lot of coins, but it is going to be worth it because then in total, you're getting yourself 2000 all star points every single day for seven days. That puts you up to already 14,000, which is nearly enough to get one of the masters uh, just from opening these packs alone, which is going to be pretty useful. So if you've got that amount of coins, that is going to help you out a lot. You've also got a Bogo offer, which is actually kind of useful. 400 of the all-star points for 250 cash. Maybe you spend it on that. And then you can also watch an ad. And this one, I recommend doing one random rising star token. So that's either the sophomore one or the rookie one over there. So it's either one of those ones. You're going to get a random one, but you just have to watch an ad. And you can do five of them every single day, which is going to be super useful. There's an all-star points bundle over here, which is going to cost you 2,500 NBA cash. It's going to get you anywhere between an 83 and an 85 rising stars player and you do have a 15 percent chance of getting an 85 variable player and plus it's going to give you 2000 all-star points which is pretty useful over there there are some exclusive reserve players over here in the store you've got devin booker jimmy butler and james harden plus 3500 nba cash that is going to cost you some money to be able to do that there's a vip event pass you're going to have to spend uh, four pound fifty to unlock that one and you've also got some starter packs um, to help you out over there giving yourself some reserves over there but what you actually do with the all-star points we'll take a look at the limited time events you go into the right hand side you can see this is where the players are and you basically press on them so say i want to get nikola Jokic, i'm gonna have to spend twenty thousand all-star points to be able to get him you can see just because i've opened the packs in the store i'm already at two thousand we worked out you can get to fourteen thousand which is one thousand less um to try and get one of these 92 overall players and so the 92s are 15k whereas the 93s are going to be 20k over there so Jokic is 20k andrew wiggins is 20k over there steph curry and jam are uh 15k over there then demar Derozan and trey young are both at 15k as well well, just because they're 92 and then obviously you've got Joel Embiid at 93 overall it's costing you 20,000 and then Giannis Antetokounmpo at 20,000 over there and then finally to be able to get the Grandmasters LeBron and KD it's very similar stuff so for LeBron complete any three team LeBron players so basically you're gonna have to buy any three of these so maybe I get Steph Curry, Jamaran and Andrew Wiggins then it unlocks this one and then I'm gonna suspend 40,000 all-star points so it's a lot of all-star points but I don't know what it's gonna be doable because we are gonna get quite a few tokens from these events um, unless they change it because I don't know whether it's a bug at the moment that we're getting so many um, tokens, but that's going to help you out getting you a ton of tokens um, so you can then actually go through. Because if you think about it, 15K for one 92 overall master, that just means you have to do this set five times. And that isn't actually a huge amount. So this set five times gets you up to 15K. That's one master plus nearly an extra master from the store alone. That's going to get you up to two masters. And then you just need 20K to be able to get a final master, which you can do by doing some more of these sets um, by doing your objectives. That's going to help you out getting that one. And then finally, Grandmaster is going to be the massive push to be able to get 40,000 all-star points because in total to be able to get him the cheapest way to get any one of these masters, LeBron or KD is going to be 40,000 for the master itself and then you're going to have to purchase two 92 overall masters so that puts you up to 30k and then one 93 overall master puts you up to 50k plus the 40k 90k in total just to be able to get one master and that is the cheapest way unless you also you could buy uh, two 93s and a 92 but that is going to cost you a little bit more as you can see two 93s is going to cost you 40k plus a 15k from the 92 is going to put you up to 55k plus that extra one is going to be 95k so 90k is the cheapest option you can try and get one of these masters for and that is basically the case with that so 90k to get one of them and then 180k to get two of them but you're probably not going to get two of them normally spent that is definitely pay to win you could maybe push to get one of them depending on how lucky you are with getting the tokens how lucky you are with getting the players but then if you don't want to get any of the masters and you don't have enough to get any of the masters you can always buy one of these packs over here this one's the team lebron one six and a half thousand all-star points gets you a team lebron reserve pack on the right hand side same thing for team kd a reserve pack for six and a half thousand anywhere between 
between 89 and 91 overall. Um, so that is an option for you. Unfortunately, those don't count towards getting yourself a Team LeBron. You have to get any of the Masters, I think, um, because they are the Masters. It says Team LeBron Master players. So I'm guessing it's any of the players on the court, not the reserves one. Those don't count. Otherwise, it'd be really cheap to be able to get that Master. But that is it when it comes to this Premier. Hopefully, I've gone through absolutely everything. There will be a court and a jersey that should unlock when you get to 6,500 All-Star points. We saw that in the sneak peeks. Hopefully, that's still the case with the game at the moment. But my recommendations is play through, get your first wins on all of these events on the left-hand side, get, play through uh, this event at the top every single day you can. And all of these bottom ones, they are going to help you out. So make sure you're playing through all of those. And that should hopefully help you grinding this promo and get yourself what you want. Make sure you're trying to save up your all-star points and maybe you wait and then work out what you want to do with your all-star points because it's all well and good. Say you get uh, Jan Morant and then you think you can get Steph Curry, but you can't actually get him and you really wanted him. Go for the order you want to try and get the Masters first in. So maybe I want to try and get that Steph Curry first and then that Jan Morant and then Andrew Wiggins and then LeBron James if I can have that order in your head or maybe you save up your all-star points wait for the last day and then spend them all in one go it's up to you there's lots of different ways and lots of different players you can try and get with this promo let me know in the comment section down below which players are you going to try and get i'm probably going to try and go for team lebron just because lebron james's stats are just absolutely mental we went through them in the sneak piece his stats are mental so i might try and get him um so i'll probably get steph curry then jam Morant, then andrew wiggins and then finally lebron james but let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below what do you think of this promo who which masters are you going to get let me know if i've missed anything in the comment section down below as well well, leave a like on the video if it did help you out and if you want to know exactly how you can get tons of stamina in nba live mobile season six because trust me you're going to need it with this promo to play all of those repeatable events go check out this video in the bottom left hand corner where i would do absolutely everything you need to know so you can get unlimited stamina and i'll see you guys in that one peace